The submarine that went to the Titanic exploded at a depth of 4,000 meters in the ocean. But this snailfish is a marine creature that can survive even at a depth of 8,300 meters. It is naturally considered to be the strongest creature in the world. Then, even if a herd of elephants is placed on top of it, even if heavy trucks are passed over it, or even if a locomotive is put on top of it, its body will not be affected at all. But the question is, after all, what is inside its body? Welcome to the Girls Mind videos. Viewers, if we travel 350 kilometers southwest of Goa Island in the Pacific Ocean, then the part of the sea comes under which the deepest point of the ocean is located. This point is also referred to as the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a very large crescent-shaped trench on the bottom of the ocean. Its length is 2,550 kilometers and its width is 69 kilometers. Due to this dent, this part of the sea suddenly becomes very deep. It can also be viewed on Google Earth to get an idea of this dent. In this trench, the deepest point of our world, the Challenger Deep, is located, which is approximately 11,033 meters or 36,200 feet below sea level. This depth is the least explored depth of the ocean. It is also called the Hadal Zone. It was named after the Greek underworld Don Hades. At this depth, the dangerous darkness, lack of food, and bone-breaking pressure are clear signs that it is almost impossible for creatures to survive here. At first, it was also believed that humans would never be able to reach the Haddle Zone, but an event occurred in the 19th century that permanently changed this concept. In 1875, the ship named HMS Challenger was present in the ocean. In it, the ocean explorers of that time set out to find the deepest point of the ocean. Upon reaching a certain location, they hung a weight on a rope and threw it into the ocean. It was noticed that the rope continues to descend, but the deepest point has not been reached yet. It had never happened before that their rope ended before reaching the bottom of the ocean. This news left ocean explorers from all around the world stunned. Knowing that the Mariana Trench was the deepest point in the ocean was not enough. Several attempts were made to reach this point, but this depth did not allow anyone to come close to it. 85 years after the discovery of Challenger Deep, in 1960, two men dared to go this far, Jacques Kicard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. They accomplished this feat aboard the submarine named Trieste. Their five-hour journey was filled with numerous challenges. Five hours only for going down and remaining five hours to come back up. The water pressure at this depth is nearly 1,000 times higher than sea level. During their journey, the submarine's window had cracked, due to which they could only spend 20 minutes at the Challenger Deep, and then they had to come back up. Indeed, they spent only a short amount of time at that point. But what they witnessed there shook the scientific community to its core. Life. Yes, they were astonished to see a living fish species at a depth of 1,100 meters below the sea level. Let us tell you here that the Challenger Deep is so deep that, even if Mount Everest were to be placed there, still its peak would be about 2 kilometers below the ocean's surface. The water pressure here is around 16,000 psi pounds per square inch. That means the weight exerted on an area of just one square inch is 7,250 kilograms. Well, due to lack of time, they had to leave Challenger Deep immediately, but the trip posed a huge mystery to ocean explorers and biologists. After all, how is life possible in the Haddle Zone, where there is no oxygen nor sunlight? Going to such depths in the ocean for research is an impossible task. Therefore, in 1996, Japan developed a robotic submersible called Kaiko. This mission was named the Kaiko mission, in which this submersible had to be sent to the Challenger Deep and collect samples and return back. Kaiko collected some samples of the ocean floor. When they were tested, 
they found that the bottom of the ocean was full of strange bacteria, those bacteria that had never been seen before. Lab tests revealed that this bacteria is a very strange species, which has the ability to survive even in high pressure. Normally on land, plants produce energy through photosynthesis. It means through sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. But if life is possible in the depths of the ocean, it is due to these bacteria. Bacteria produce energy and oxygen through the chemical process by absorbing carbon dioxide and minerals from rocks. This process is called chemosynthesis. It was noticed that the energy produced by these bacteria leads to the main energy source for other creatures in this deep sea. This evidence was enough to prove that life in the Haddle Zone is indeed possible. The Mariana Trench has surprisingly also been home to the deepest dwelling fish, which is a snailfish. Because it resides in the Haddle Zone, it is also known as the Haddle Snailfish. Up to 12 inches long and 3 inches thick, it's hard to believe the amount of stress this fish has to endure on its body. The body of this fish has an area of approximately 25 square inches, and the pressure at that depth is 16,000 psi. Based on calculations, the Haddle snailfish would be constantly enduring a weight of approximately 170,000 kilograms on its entire body. Yes, for reference, let me tell you that the empty weight of a Boeing 777 is 168,000 kilograms and an average locomotive weighs 150,000 kilograms. It is no less than a wonder that such a small fish can bear so much weight. But what is the reason for this? Unfortunately, the scientific community has not been able to know exactly till now. Actually, it is not possible to go there and do research. And if this snailfish or other deep sea creatures are brought out of the sea, so they burst due to lack of pressure, some scientific research has revealed that the fish living near the surface have a swim bladder inside them. This swim bladder is filled with air, which prevents them from going too deep. But deep sea creatures do not have this swim bladder, and that's the reason they can go in the depth easily. In addition, recent discoveries have revealed that all marine creatures have an organic molecule called piezolites inside them. This molecule protects membranes and proteins from being crushed. Scientists have found a significant amount of piezolites inside the snailfish, but it is not yet known how these piezolites ultimately protect proteins and membranes from being crushed. It will be known only then when a technology is invented that can go to the Challenger Deep and do research on live fish. I hope you will like and share this video of the girl's mind. See you in the next awesome video.